So welcome everybody, March 30th, Wednesday and A Day to our announcements and all of you know who have been here for these that we always start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So feel free to stay and enjoy me if you'd like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for all you folks who stood up with me. Thank you all for being quiet as we did regardless. All right. So today we've got some announcements. Before we do those, I'm going to kick it to our guest speaker. As you all know, this is Women's History Month, and we've had some excellent ladies on here from the mayor to my pastor from when I was a teeny tiny little kid. Uh, today we get the honor and the privilege of one of the strongest people I know. Oh, yeah, I got notes. I should probably not just vamp this thing. I'm supposed to read that she is our CRCSD graduate, a warrior fan, and a superintendent. Selfishly, she has been one of the biggest spark plugs I've ever had in my career in terms of energizing a group of people. Um, she has led us as a society in our district through some tough challenges, and she's always done it with grace smiles, humor, excitement, and there's been no question since day one where her heart has been. Folks, in warrior land today, our special guest is Miss Noreen Bush. Hello. I want you to know I am, well, one, I'm really, really excited to be here. Good morning, warriors. And those who do not know me or perhaps we haven't had a personal interaction or you don't know this tidbit about me. Yes, I am superintendent of schools. Yes, I'm a graduate of Cedar Rapids. Yes, I'm a huge warrior fan, but I am also a woman who loves to have a song of the day. And this is Woman's Month. And it is my opportunity to be with the Warriors today. So I have female artists are featuring my songs of the day. So today it is none other than Patti Smith. Come on, you know the song? The Warriors. Okay, so if you don't know that, children, I'll be make sure that uh, your uh, principal makes it available for you for free on iTunes. <laughs> anyway, thank you for having me and just for a few moments today. Um, so I am really passionate about what I do. I'm really passionate as an educator. And that started right here in Cedar Rapids Community School District. So today, I would love to send you a message, no matter if you are a woman, a man, a, a binary identified gender person, wherever you are in your identity, I know what helps all of us is that to lead our lives with hope. Um, I know what experience people do have when they have hopelessness. And I definitely witness when people can lead their life with hope, uh, what that can do for them. So my tiny itty bitty story is that in uh, 1986 at Jefferson High School, uh, I'm the youngest of seven kids, really poor kid, didn't have a whole lot of resources, but I knew what I loved. And that is being with my friends, being at school and witnessing um, what others could do when they didn't think it was possible, when they were given the right resources. And so uh, I was a member of what's called the Pom Pom Squad. Now we would call that a dance team. And I was able to choreograph some routines and I would watch my um, uh, friends on that team do things that they didn't think that they were able to do. And when I was able to witness that, um, it gave me great hope and excitement, which is why I wanted to become an educator. And I also had this lineup of amazing English teachers and I loved to read and I loved to write. And so hence, I decided to become an English teacher. Uh, one of your English teachers is one of my former students. That is Miss Allie Leadham, um, who uh, I had the pleasure of uh, working with 
Allie when she was in high school. Um, but this is the thing that when you choose a path like education, you never know where it might lead your future. And wherever I go, I get to experience former students or former colleagues. And we are profession and the education profession is one that ignites hope. And that's always our hope is to ignite hope in students. So some might say, that hope is not a strategy. I've actually heard politicians and famous authors say hope is not a strategy. And I think that they mistake hope for a wish. And you can send out a wish into the stars in the sky and just say, maybe someday it will come true. What's different about hope from wishing is that hope is when you have a true understanding and a vision for yourself that's really positive and you know that that's ignited from a passion of yours so every day i come to work really 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 from that place when i started in high school wanting to help others do things that they that that's going to help them be successful but things that they want to see in themselves and that's what gives me hope every day so having the vision is one thing, but then actually having strategies to do it is something else. And so I have the great pleasure of working with these amazing adults who are on the screen um, from all across our district. And what I see them do every day are these strategies that help accomplish these amazing visions of hope. So for example, here's one strategy that I witness and that I would encourage everyone to embrace and I call it leading from the seat that you are in. Leadership is not about position. Leadership is about action. And so when you can um, uh, think about a way in which you can help lead others every day, it doesn't have to be that you are the captain of a team or that you are president of something or you have been designated as the leader of a group. Leadership is, actions from the seat that you're in every day. Leadership is when you know that there's going to be a math test next week and you raise your, your hand or in a Google meet like this and say, hey, I'm going to have a study session on Saturday with some coffee at, you know, um, at the library. Anybody want to meet up and, and study together? That's leadership. Leadership is reaching out to someone in the cafeteria when they're sitting alone and saying, hey, do you want to come sit with us? Leadership is about uh, being the first to arrive and wipe off the mats or wipe off the seats or helping your teacher distribute something across the classroom. Um, leadership can take many different forms, but it's about those small points of action and not waiting for someone to give you a title to be able to lead. So um, I have witnessed those points of leadership. And then also what I witness is people tapping on shoulders of others to help them lead the work and um, in that power of invitation. So that's one strategy I know that can lead to fulfill hope. A second one is leading with kindness and um, just you never know. I talked about uh, my experience with Miss Lita. Miss Lita and I would not have predicted 15 years ago that our paths would have crossed again in a professional way. And so you never know when you're going to meet that person again in your future. And always uh, treating folks with kindness and respect. It has done nothing but pay things forward to me my entire life. Uh, I am um, not only in my professional capacity, right now I'm on a personal health journey and I can't tell you, I get just choked up thinking about the tremendous acts of kindness that have personally come from warrior land to me um, just to get through this point of my life. But also I, when I said to my mom, my mom was in the condos just up the street from Wash. And um, I said, people are amazing, mom. They're just so kind and they've helped me so much through this whole thing. And she said, well, Noreen, you've helped people your entire life. You're 50 years old. It comes forward to you when you need it. So just remember that kindness does come back to you, especially when you lead your life with kindness. And then finally, that third major strategy is never underestimate the power of positive, healthy relationships. Surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you and then know what you offer to others to bring out the best in them. And that powerful, healthy relationships will help you through everything in life. So when you have that vision for yourself and you have strategies like leading from the seat that you're in, being kind, 
leaning on relationships, you will achieve that hope and you will see results. I never thought, never thought I would be the superintendent of Cedar Rapids Community School District, but it is the most blessed position. Uh, I feel so fortunate and humbled to be able to lead with, with all of you every day. Um, my heart is with you every day. And um, I just hope that you can think about hope as a strategy instead of it not really being a strategy and just a wish. Lead your life. <laughs> That's me. Thanks so much, Warriors. Woo, Warriors! Thank you so much. I will keep our other announcements very concise today. Thank you. Soon to be Dr. Bush, or is it official yet? You know, I have to finish this paper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. All right. Well, I'm going to keep asking no matter what. But thank you so much for being here, being inspiration to all of us. She's always approachable people. Uh, you can always talk to her. She is on Edgewood Road, but she comes to our building from time to time. Uh, so please, please, please uh, continue to salute this wonderful lady whom we have leading our schools. So I am proud to say she is my leader. I will make our announcements really brief. So first and foremost, we've got um, our bypass prom. You guys know about that already, the art show and dance team tryouts. And when those are taking place, you also know about soccer and who to talk to. But you may not know that Mount Mercy will be here on April 1st, which is tomorrow, or I'm sorry, on Friday at 1130 in the counseling office. If you're interested in hosting an exchange student for three to four months next year, you'll see Ms. Stahl for that. And we have a college visit today, with, which is Luther College. Our birthdays, we've got Jaja Henderson, Jonathan Moody, and Michael Rooney today. So happy birthday to our three students. And then Miss Malia Anderegg, it's is, is her birthday as well. I'm going to have to high five her, dap her up later on. Uh, as far as food goes today, we've got ham and cheese croissant. We've got the crispy chicken sandwich, the sub sandwich, and the chef salad today. And that concludes our announcements. Think and marinate on what Miss Noreen Bush said to you folks today because she gave you guys a gem. Hopefully it inspires you guys. I enjoy talking to students who tell me, man, that message works for me the whole rest of my day. It's the best part of my day. So please take what she said to heart. There's a lot that you can use and apply going forward. And remember, young people, it is always a great day to be a warrior. Take care. <laughs>